Hi everybody, it's Carrie. Hello, welcome to my channel if you are new here. Welcome back if you've been here before. Today, guys, is a Vlogmas Day 10. So guys, I apologize that yesterday's video came out so late, uploaded so late. Then I ended up uploading today, but I do apologize for that. I was having a glitch with my tablet. So today, guys, I wanted to show you guys what my ears look like without any of my earrings in. Guys, this is what my ears look like. Um, you stretch them this way. Hey guys, I just noticed something about my ears. It looks like I'm using the wrong, no, I'm not hole for my earrings. This video is gonna. This is a, you guys, I'm sorry, it's not really great lighting in my house, and I don't have any. Like th this is the best light I can do. My left ear. Figure, you guys can just look at These are like all of my, here's one here, one here. These are actually done double, but it does look like my old second one is healing up, finally. Third one is, I can see the whole ridge of it's closing up. Do myself. My fifth one is closed, completely cancer. That was my sixth, seventh, and eighth. So that is the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. It's kind of going to roll. The fifth is closed. My old sixth is closed, which matches on this side. It was supposed to, but I think it ended up matching with the one that is torn out. Eight, nine up top. Guys, also, I don't think my cartwood and the double helixes are 100% even. Um, I don't know, guys, I keep trying to get this one back in on and off, and I don't know, kind of, it's got a little bulky edge. Push this way. I don't know, guys, um, so I'm sure you guys don't think why my first sets are so much larger then my other one. So guys, I guess we'll do a story time real quick. If you guys want a separate video on how my how I'm missing a piece of my ear. It's actually not missing, it's just Carlos just locked in. I will be more than willing to do that video. This is Vlogmas guys, but um my first stretch sets used to be stretched. Actually I was like it's healing up quite a bit now. Because he's that large pimple on my face. Uh, um I used to have my ears stretched to 14 gauge, by the way, guys. If you guys promise nothing I'm weird, um, these pop kids, guys. This one used to be stretched to 14 gauge. My first one was stretched to 14 gauge. None of these fifth ones I had done professionally and took out. But this one was stretched to 14 gauge as well. And I think the person, actually I did this one and the person who pierced me did the other one. I think if she was a professional, she would have told me that was too far off the rim to pierce. We're stretched. You shouldn't stretch them that far up, guys. This one was stretched, and this one was stretched, and this one was stretched. I didn't stretch this one because it was so freshly here. It would film a little bubble all the time. I was like, no, that does not want to be stretched. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was a teenager. I had this one stretch. It was top one until I was 23. Had a big tongue ring bar in it. So stupid, guys. The way I thought that that was really, really cute. Really, really pretty. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry to see my face looking quite pimply. It's a hormonal. They're hormonal pimples. But I think I'm face is draining. I'm having hormonal pimples. Guys, I took a tongue ring. I took it on. I went to Walmart and bought the gauges you put in your ears, like the ones you put like eyebrows in. And you put it through your ears, open up a little bit, and then you like push in a 14 gauge. 
and just it didn't because this is when my seconds are uneven but anyway i think my seconds are also uneven but matter so guys do not do that they have stretching balm did you balm you can buy like a little, little bummy rub on your ear and like massage it so you put the taper in it's a proper a proper piercing thing you massage and then you stretch it through and then the tape a little bit then you put the gauge in when it comes in you don't just push the gauge through your ears that will cause issues and you're gonna have you want to have your ears stretched proper as well guys because if you don't stretch proper if you ever decide like i do to unstretch and go back to normal they may not need to they may need to be sur surgically stitched up which is what I need to have done up here, but it just, for whatever reason, I didn't get the surgery. I should have had my ears stitched up, but young and dumb, guys. Nobody told me what to do. I guess it's like a, like a, what I look like with all my earrings out plus stretch ears story time. So, guys, the reason why I want it kind of a punk goth rock kind of look, because at the time, because I'm way embarrassed, because I was into a goth boy. My square. He had his ear stretched with a tongue ring. I don't think I'm the Corey did. It's Corey where I got that tongue ring thing from. I think it was, guys. Oh, well, Corey's got that uh, tongue bar in his tongue nail, so. He had one in his ears. That guy's called that was so sexy. <gasps> Corey's where I got that from. That's, hmm, he's a bad, that game's a bad influence on me, guys. Oof. So, Corey is where I get all of this, like, Gothic, like, 101, like, crazy crap from, um, tell you guys, I wanted to be with Corey. I wanted to be his girlfriend. I liked him. He doesn't like me back, but whatever. Here's the first video a month I'm actually discussing Corey. Um, Corey's the reason why I went to be goth. I wanted chain, pants with the chains on. My mother was like, oh, I'm not buying you that. Like, that's so gothic. I'm not buying you that. And I was like, but mom, Corey has what I want. And she's like, no Corey. <laughs> I really want to mind as well, guys. Had that piercing checked out by a professional. I'm going to move it upward. I was going to go for a pinch and do less off the edge. No, but pierce it. So put it back in because it doesn't look right. <sighs> so guys, the moral of this story is, I guess this is going to be a story time on how and why I stretched my ears. In my teenage years, how and why I stretched my ears. And what my ears look like without earrings in. And why and how I stretched my ears. Now, guys, this video is not a how you should stretch yours. It's how you should not stretch yours. Um, if you guys want any more stories of, like, Corey or just... Or just, like, my teenage years in general, I am willing to read you the pop prom horror story redo videos. I'm more than willing to read you those. The quality of the device I was using back then was not a good quality device. My phone back then wasn't good. So I am more than willing to sit down and re-record all those videos after the Vlogmas. But guys, if you like this kind of content, you like my normal kind of content, my dolls, my piercings, my other videos that I normally do, vlogs, hauls, story times, or comment, like, share, subscribe. If you want to hit that big red subscribe button, hit that big bell for being notified sometimes, occasionally, or always. So guys, I'm not used to the camera being here. And guys, I looked up, it says that most people who watch me are not subscribed. Like, this much people who watch me are subscribed. I didn't cut my nails. <laughs> and so if you guys like my kind of normal content, there's content. Subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Happy Vlogmas Day 10!